basically, when it comes to percent, uh, percentage questions, you gotta be very, very attentive to what you're looking for. So right over here, it says, what percentage discount did Stephanie receive? So the one thing that I'm gonna point out here, my party people, the one thing I'm gonna point out is this. When it comes to percentages, this is unit four, and the main rule about percents is this. The main rule, the percent that you apply is the result that you get. So write this down. The percent you apply, the percent you apply is the result you get. Right there. The percent you apply is the result that you get. So everybody in the chat box type ready when you have that written down. The percent you apply is the result you get. Before we continue, just want to take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate, stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description, that way you see how it works, and then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. Cool, so here's the formula. One of the ways you can look at it, there's a few different ways you can look at it, but one of the more popular ways is like this. The percent times the original equals the result. So the percent, let me actually make this a little smaller over here so I have a little more room to write with. But the percent times the original equals the results. And like I told you guys, the percent that you apply represents the result that you get. Like this is as clear as I can state this and as easily as I can lay this out. This is how you can check your work in real time. Like, do I have it or do I not? You know, do I understand what's going on or do I not? So here, Everybody, what are we looking for? Give me in one word or one short phrase, what is it that this problem is making us find? Right, we're looking not the amount of the discount, the percent, yeah, the percent of the discount. So what we need to say with, uh, with a strong tone here is say that we are looking for the percent discount so everybody quick question if I'm setting up this formula and the percent that I apply and the result that I get represent the same thing what do I need to plug in right here if what I plug in for the percent is the discount what is the amount that I need to plug in for the result no not the total amount not the paid amount. Mm -mm. Not the discount percent, no. Not the original price, not the percent amount, no. Not the listed. Ricardo, right there. We want the discount amount. Because if the percent that we're looking for represents the discount, then the result that we're gonna plug into the formula needs to also represent the discount. Does that make a little more sense there, everybody? So again, this is the amount of the discount. Again, the percent that you apply is the result you get. So boom, boom. These two things represent the same idea. 
I need to make sure that we understand that because in every single percent problem that you do, that's what matters the most. Hey, I'm glad, Kai. Yeah, keep practicing, man. You got this. But that's the main, that's the main thing about that formula. The percent that you apply represents the result that you get. One of them is, the, is in the form of a percentage. The other one's in the form of an amount. But they represent the same thing. They represent the same thing. So with that said, he's easily, here's how I'm going to set it up. Okay, first of all, everyone, what's the original amount? What's that going to be? What was the original listing price of anything here? 54 bucks, right? It says right here, originally listed at 54 bucks. Was listed at $54. Hopefully that's not terrible to uh, understand and comprehend. Cool, sounds good. Now here, again, we're looking for that percent, so we're just gonna leave that as is. Then next here, the results, we need to represent the amount of the discount. Well, everybody, my quick question is this. If I originally had it at $54, I paid $35.10, how do I find the discount? How do I find the discount? Dominic, my man. Yeah, we'll go ahead and subtract here. We're gonna go ahead and subtract to find out what the amount of the discount was. So with that said, we'll go ahead and take 54 bucks. We'll subtract the 35.10. Boom. Right over here, and let's go ahead and solve. Obviously, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of a, boom, do this, 14, down to 13, down to 10, 9, and 10. I know that seems really confusing. Skip the boring math part, math basics for you. But this is going to end up being, well, actually, don't even need to do that. That'll just end up being 0 here, 9 there. That's going to be 8 right there. And that'll be 1. So 1890 is what we have. Now that we're here, we're good. That's the result that we're gonna be applying because again, this is the discount amount. Let me make sure I'm clear about that, guys. This is the amount of the discount. Real quick before I continue, does that make sense, everybody? This is the amount of the discount. Making sure we got that down. Cool, and you can definitely plug in the answer choices, but I wanna make sure I show you the straightforward way because if you know both methods, then you can determine for yourself, hey, which one's gonna be faster for me in the heat of the moment, right? But if I only show you the answer choices every single time there's a problem, then it's you know it's not really gonna be the most responsible way to teach you. So with that, we plug this in and that's gonna be 1890. And now all we have to do, everybody, is this. If I wanna find the percentage, all I gotta do is divide both sides by 54 and I'm done. So now that we're good, again, these both represent the discount these both represent the discount. I'm going to divide both sides by that 54 to get that by itself. So once we're here, we cancel that out. My percent equals whatever that's supposed to be. And I can go ahead and do this on the side here. 54 I'm going into 1890. My party people, quick question. 54 goes into 1 and eh, 0 times. 54 goes into 18, 0 times. How many times does 54 go into 189? How many times does 54 go into 189? And if you want to guesstimate, think about 50. How many times would 50 go into 189? 50, 100, 150? Three times. It's not that terrible. Not that terrible. We can definitely get something out of that. So that'll be three times there. Minus, so 150. So 54 times three, well, that's going to be 50 times three, which is 150. Four times three, which is 12. 150 plus 12 is 162. So then we subtract here. That'll be 727. We bring that zero down. Everyone, how many times might 54 go into 270? Five times? Let's try it out. If we were taking a guess there, just take a guess and just check it out for yourself. Four times five is 20. Five times five is 25. Carry the two is 27. Booyah, that does work for sure. That gives us a five right there. That's a clean division. Heck yeah, feeling pretty good. And we're gonna put that decimal exactly where it was. 
So we get 0 0.35. Everyone, what do we know about the percent when we include it in an equation? Is it actually a percent or is it in what form? Yeah, it's in a decimal form, as you can clearly see, 0 0.35. So if you want to turn a decimal back into a percent, all you got to do is move that decimal place over two times. One, two. So the percent is actually 35%. Right, from the left to the right, exactly. From the left to the right. And so there we, there we have it. It is going to be D, 30 five percent and as always my party people thanks for watching you can subscribe with that button right there and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there but most importantly if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way every step of the way with my support there's that link at the bottom left go ahead click that link watch the video on how the program works subscribe and raise your score